Okay, so on this one, we're gonna be throwing angles. So I got this one in standard position and we are going to do an approximate value. It's not gonna be an exact value. Keep in mind that an extender, uh, uh, extender position is going to have its initial side on the X axis. So on this case, my initial side is again here on the X axis right here. So I'm gonna draw that there. So this is my initial side, right? I'm gonna draw an angle there. And then 30 degrees, 30 degrees, this is the opening right here of my angle. Let me draw it here. It's gonna be the opening here. That opening right here is gonna be 30 degrees. So my side, my initial side, my terminal side should be somewhere around here. And this is my angle 30 degrees. Very important here that you saw that inside I'm drawing an arrows over here because they are rays. And then inside here, I'm drawing an arrow because it's giving me my direction of where this angle is opening from, right? So this angle is the one that is 30 degrees right here. So the arrow is important. We're gonna see a little bit later on on the video when what's happening with the negative and how this is gonna change. So let's see the next one, so 250. So 250, again, let's start by drawing my initial side here. So my initial side here is going to be this side right there. And then here, my opening, if I open my angle all the way through here, this is already 180 degrees. So that means that I'm missing 70 more down here. So I'm missing 70 more. So this is, should be closer to this line, right? Why? Because this angle here is 90 degrees. So that means that it's closer to this one. So my angle should be somewhere around here. And again, it doesn't have to be precise, but I got to see that this side, the terminal side is closer to this part of the y-axis than closer to the x-axis because I'm missing 70 more. Again, my angle went from here to here, this 180 degrees. So I'm missing that 70 down there to convert this to a 250. So this angle down here, this angle here is 70 degrees, right? So the 180 plus the 70 creates the 250. Okay, so again, initial side. Now this angle is opening through here. We know again through here to this line, to the negative part of the x-axis is 180. So that means that my angle should be somewhere around here. And again, it should be closer to my X axis than the Y axis, because again, through here is 90 degrees, and now I need uh, 70 more to get to 160 degrees. So this is my 160. Again, look at the arrow that I'm drawing in here. Once we get to number five, that we got the negative, I'm gonna show you the difference. So this one. 320 degrees, again, my initial side on the x-axis. Initial side on the x-axis. From there is opening. I get 90 degrees. From there, I get 180, 270, and 320 is like 50 more from there. So it should be a little bit more than halfway. So somewhere around here. And this is my angle there. I get my arrow there. So the 20 degrees. And as we discussed in class, we know that a negative angle, we're actually drawing it to 50 degrees, but it's going to be opening down instead of up. So now again, initials in a standard form, initial side is on the x-axis. Now my angle is going to be opening down. Again, I have through there, 90 degrees. So negative 90 now here, I get negative 180. So that means that I'm missing around 70 more, so it should be close to the y-axis. And this is my terminal side. And my arrow goes down here, and this is negative 250 degrees. The next lesson, we're gonna study a little bit of coterminal angles. And as you can see that if I go on my other direction, if I go on my other direction, my positive, I'm gonna have an angle that also finishes there. And that's what it's called coterminal angle. We're gonna go more in depth on coterminal angles on the next unit. Let's see, negative 520. This, you see this one is a little bit different because it's more than 360. So again, initial side, 
in this case is I'm going to go down here so it's going to go uh, clockwise 90 180 270 360 so now I'm missing 160 more so I got 90 more so to this point right here until that point that I just drew there is uh, 450 so I'm missing 70 more so it should go close to there so when I draw my angle that's my angle there again my arrow goes there and that's my angle of negative negative 520 degrees So again, for terminal uh, initial side here, and this one is positive, so I'll go, I'm going on the other direction. So let's start. We know that this is more than 360, so if I go 360 there, if I go 360 here, 360, now I'm missing 295 more. So 90 more, 180, 270. Now I'm missing like 25 more, so somewhere around here. And this is my angle of 655 degrees. So the next one, I get negative 575, initial side. From there, I'm opening down now because it's negative. So I'm going to go around. That's my 360. Now I'm missing 215 more. So that means that I got 90 more. And I got... 180 more so from there I'm missing around 35 degrees more so somewhere around here so that's my angle negative 575 degrees and okay, let's see what's happening in radians in radians my recommendation here is either you can try to graph it by radians or we can convert to this to uh, degrees so if I multiply times 5 t uh, 180 over pi, the pi cancel out. The six simplify here, so I got a 30, so that means that I'm drawing my angle of 510 degrees. Again, it's positive, so standard side right here. So I'm gonna go around. That's 360. So I need 150 more, so from here, this is 90. So I need around 60 more, so somewhere around down here. And that's my angle, 17 pi over 6. By the way, I'm missing the arrow here. Let's zoom it in. Again, let's start by changing it to degrees. So again, I'm multiplying times 180 over pi. So the pi cancel out. So simplifying here, this is 1, this is 15, and then 29 times 15 is 435 degrees. So Start by drawing my initial side right here in standard form. Then from there, I'm opening up 90, 180, 270, 360. So that means that I need 75 more, so it should be close to here. So let's draw my angle there. And then my arrows right here. So that's an angle that measures 435 degrees. So number 11, if I change it to degrees, it's gonna be 480. So again, I draw my initial side, and from there I'm gonna go one loop around, one rotation, so 360, and then I'm missing 120 more. On number 12, by changing it to degrees, it's gonna be 390. So again, one rotation is 360, and then that's 30 more. And that's it for this lesson. May the first be with you.